Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to explain to you what are the typical steps that a manuscript goes through from the time you're ready to submit to the time that it's finally accepted in a journal. So my name is Randerson Cardozo, I'm a cardiologist in Boston, Massachusetts. And in this channel, in the Meta-Analysis Academy, we discuss how you can publish systematic reviews and meta-analysis independently on your own, how you can publish impactful research that can help your career. So if you're interested in this content, consider hitting the like and the subscribe button and stay tuned for the content in the Meta-Analysis Academy. So once you're done with your paper, you've done all the research, whether it's a meta-analysis or a cohort or an epidemiologic study, you've prepared that manuscript in the way that the journal requires you to. You've formatted it according to the journal recommendations. You have the references, the title page. You also need figures, tables, and a cover letter. Once you have all of this packaged and ready to submit to a journal of your choice, you then go ahead and make that subscription. That journal will typically take anywhere between a few weeks to sometimes unfortunately more than one month to review your paper. There are essentially three options for answers that you can get once you submit a paper to a journal. First, unfortunately, your paper may just be outright rejected. Unfortunately, that happens most of the time because good journals accept a minority of the publications that are submitted to them. The other option is that they could accept it right away also, but that's infrequent. If you submit a manuscript to a journal and they accept it right right away without asking for revisions. Either your paper is just incredibly um, well done and extraordinary, or you may have missed out on the opportunity to submit to an even better journal because a good journal a good journal for your paper will typically ask for some revisions, and that's the third option. So your paper can be rejected, it can be accepted, or they can request revision. So what does that mean to request revision? It means that whatever, the, whatever you submitted to the journal is not yet ready to be published according to the editor's and the reviewer's opinion, but it may be suitable for publication if you edit it according to their request. So they'll typically submit you you a long list or sometimes not that long but a list of things that they think that could improve your paper so they request modification now and then at this stage you and the co-authors with the collaboration of your senior author will prepare these revisions you will modify the paper according to the requests of the reviewer and then you will also prepare a rebuttal letter in this rebuttal letter you're going to put topic by topic everything that the reviewer asks for or the editor is asked for and you're going to say how you address those. So it's essentially is a point by point reply to the requests from the reviewers. Once you do that, once you've modified the paper and prepared this rebuttal letter, you will then submit to the journal again. At this time, the journal will reconvene and review your paper, the editors and the reviewers. And at this point, they may again reject, which would be unlikely if you addressed all the concerns, but it could still happen. Or they could accept accept the manuscript or ask for further revision. Again, it's unlikely that they would ask for a second round of revisions, but it certainly can happen, especially if you didn't address all the revisions that they asked you for at the first time. So once the journal uh, then finally accepts your manuscript for publication, then you will, uh, over the next few days or weeks, uh, receive from them a number of documentations, copyright transfers, and uh, also some disclosure forms that you have to disclose any conflict, conflict of interest. So, and then finally your paper will be published online and then eventually in the print form of that journal. So that's the typical journey of a manuscript from the time you're ready to submit it to a journal to the time that you finally hear back that your paper was accepted. Remember to submit your, your manuscript to another journal if it is not accepted the first time around. It is quite common for manuscripts to be rejected once or twice or sometimes even three times before they're accepted in another journal. Every time you get a rejection with feedback, look at that feedback and see if you can actually improve anything, if you can improve your manuscript before you submit it to the next journal. But having rejections is part of the process and it all you can do is learn from that submission, take what you can
can try to improve your manuscript and submit to the next journal. Also be wise about choosing the journals. If you're getting rejections from highly ranked journals, maybe you should then move a little bit down on the tier of the journals you're submitting to and submit to more intermediate or lower impact journals. This is all part of the game of doing research and getting publications done. And I want to finalize this video with inviting you to join us in the Meta Analysis Academy, where we educate medical professionals, medical students, doctors, dentists, nurses from all over the world on how they can do systematic reviews and meta-analysis in an effective way. I hope to see you in the Meta Analysis Academy.